Hello kind people of the internet. In this video I will be po making a blog post to my website and just kind of showing what goes into that. First I open up my terminal, see where I am, go into the desktop, go into my 2021 folder, and then I hit code. Bring this bad boy up. We're in May, so I would go down to May. And here we are. Say div dot posts. And I usually do a H2 at the top, and I'll call this one FKJ all day. <clears throat> and the date, I coded the date to show up no matter what, but I date each blog post as well. But the current date will show up. Oh, I could, oh, that might be. I wonder if I could automate some of this, but anyway. Um, now I'm interested in, well, what's the post going to be, right? Like, I'll say example here as a paragraph. And if I hit go live, we will see that this is what it's going to look like. But I don't just want it to say nothing. I want it to be this video that I saw over the weekend. Now, I've heard of FKJ before. But then, um, man, this video is something else. So I got to copy the embedded version, go into my thing, and then I'll say, what do I say? I wonder if I, do I do that? Yep, div class vid. Then I post it. I word wrap it so I can see all of it. Could even get rid of this stuff. And um, I set the width to 100% because it's going to be 100% of the div with the class of vid. And if you look at my CSS file for my blog, um, vid, you can see these are the dimensions of it. Okay, so now we have this. And this, because my paragraphs are small, the vid will overlap into the next post and kind of ruin it. So sometimes I like to say, like if I say post one advanced, I think I've already created this and that just kind of gives it a little bit more room. Um, all right. And then here I could say FKJ was on at my friend's. He's not really my friend. FKJ was on at a kickback. Could you even call it that? It was on at a house I was visiting in Santa Monica. This FKJ music video was on at a house I was visiting in Santa Monica. Then Quantum of Conscience brought him up today as well. That's the podcast I listen to, the YouTube channel. So... Quantum of Conscious is on a real cold streak right now. I don't think 
he's as interesting as he was to me a month ago. But I thought it was cool that he brought him up and I had also just visited a house that was playing it. And now I'm going to blog about it. And I, I think it's such a cool video that I wanted on my website. Because some people have never heard of him. And because this is such a simple post, I thought I'd make a quick video about um, about it. Oh, and then, okay, so let's say I like the look of this, hypothetically. I mean, Quantum of Quantum, he didn't really have anything interesting to say about it. He was basically just saying that this is a talented artist, and he's dropping truth in his songs. For example, when he said, um, what is freedom? Freedom is... In this song, he says, what is freedom? Freedom is not being afraid, or something like that. No fear. Freedom is no fear. So, truth drops in music, truth, truth drops in everything. And and it is interesting, I mean, his his sweatshirt in this music video is, um, let's see if I can just get a shot of it. If you look at the back of his sweatshirt, you see that right there, it's a, uh, it's an atom. And I think there's something about this guy. There really is. He probably knows some shit. But he's a lot smarter than me because he will just excel in one area of music and be a genius in music. And then he can slip out a little truth here and there in the sweatshirt he wears or the words he samples in his songs. And no one, no one can argue with him because he's just a musician. But I bet if you really asked him what he thought about certain things, his opinions would be controversial. But who knows? Maybe he just thought it looks cool. I would say he thinks of himself as an atom. And he's behaving in a non-cancerous way and he believes in no fear is freedom and he's singing about going back home uh, maybe he's talking about heaven but he's saying I don't want to go back home so I, I, maybe he's saying I'm not ready to die <laughs> I really don't know but um, freedom as being no fear is awesome I mean if you look at what's happening in COVID right now, it's like we're supposed to believe it's a free country, but everyone's like scared and that's not freedom. All right. Really cool dude. Okay. So let's say this is good. Then I would, uh, unfortunately, I'm not the best coder in the world. I also have something called a blog.html just in case someone says maxgn slash blog dot com slash blog I have I double post everything so blog will load everything at once and take forever whereas may the reason I broke it up into months is may will load the pictures and stuff faster if there's not that money because after 30 days with the amount I, I post um You'll notice the text also floats to the right of the video. It's There's nothing behind this video. Anyway, okay, so let's say that's good enough. Now I would get out of the live server, um, close out of this, close out of that, and then here I would say get status. And it tell, it's red because there are things that I've done that haven't been uploaded to the cloud or the GitHub. So now I'd say add it, and then give me the status. Now it's been added. 
So now I commit it. Um, and I would say FKJ. And then after I've committed it, I push it. And the push is what takes that commit and makes it go live. It takes over, it pushes it to the repository. So now I will show you my Netlify. Well, first, well, I'll show you this. When I go to deploys, it will say building. Today it's 651, it's 652. It's building this. That commit that I just did, it's working on. So if I went to maxjan.com right now, clicked on the blog, um, it doesn't have it yet. And here it will say blog if I give it a few seconds. So that's how you know where to go. Ideally, I would have it hover. Like if you hover over it, it says blog. The problem with designing it is you have to go mobile first because most people are on their phone. And when you're on their phone, there is no hover. If they touch something, it's a link. So there's no, you can't do that mouse hover stuff. So I just made all the pictures change incrementally, automatically, to make it feel a little, a little bit better. And uh, maybe this should go to some hot girls, you know? <laughs> maybe I should make a hot girl thing, get more web traffic. Anyway, now let's see, let's see if it's there. No? Okay, I'll do a hard reset. No? Okay, let's see if there's a problem with it. Refresh this. It's just still building, okay. Usually takes a few minutes, I guess. There it is. So it took like two minutes, maybe. So this is live on the internet, baby, and that is how... That's how much work it takes. It takes me like... Not that long to do all of that. And, um... I don't use Squarespace. I like doing everything myself and having full control. But... Yeah. So... That is how it's done. Peace.